day and bringing you guys some more content. So today is gonna be a quick, but yet pretty informative video. So we all, a lot of us have carpet seats, vinyl, leather, whatever you want to call it. We have some sort of material on our seats, but we have a hard time trying to maintain them, trying to keep them up, trying to be able to have them looking good, right? So how can we clean it? You can go to the store, buy leather cleaner and all that stuff. It works, but it's a ton of elbow grease. You're constantly scrubbing, all that stuff. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys a trick I use and how I use it. You can tweak it to your own advantage, but this is probably one of the best tools you can have in your detailing arsenal. Under 10 bucks, works really effective. You can get it on Amazon. Um, hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, please give me that thumbs up, like the video, comment, and all that good stuff. All right, now, I'm kind of <clears throat> going a little quick because we're burning midnight oil where we're losing day like super quick. I just got home about 20 minutes ago and I'm, I'm, I'm rushing to get this film done, man. So bear with me. If you enjoy it, please smash that thumbs up. And I, I know you guys are going to like this. Okay, guys, so we're inside of my truck right now. So what we have here is my seat. I taped it up. Okay, so right now this is what my seat looks like. It might be a little hard because the lights are super bright and it's kind of like dull in it but i apologize you will definitely see a difference in a minute so what we have is the top most important not top but the most important tool that i use in my interior detailing arsenal is a scrubbing brush that attaches to a drill um you can get this on amazon it comes with a big brush like this a small brush i will have a link down below in the videos too it comes with an assortment of drill attachment brushes and oh gotta turn it on and you can use this on anything carpet leather seats when you're trying to clean them and protect them um hell you can even use this in your house if you're cleaning your grout man i mean you can get a firm this is a medium course you can get a firm soft and hard uh, type brush super awesome and it's so cheap it's like 10 bucks man so what i'm going to be using today for the chairs is i'm going to be using some of my mcguire's this is their professional line but this is their all-purpose cleaner uh it's ideal for interiors uh it's really good it gets super foamy and it's and it doesn't smell you know all all you know chemically and all that stuff so once you clean now this is applying to people with leather seats once you clean your leather you got to protect it some sort of leather dressing something what i like to use in my interior is a limitless cockpit care this stuff is awesome it's not greasy it doesn't look oily it gives it a nice sheen and i like using it, it has uv protectants in it as well so that's what i'm going to use to protect it so what i have here the Meguiar's professional line is dilutable, so I have this diluted four to one in the bottle for heavy strength. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down the chair like such. Don't be afraid to get a lot on there. Okay, I know I got rips in my chairs. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Probably should just do one side, but whatever. Okay, we're only gonna do the outside. So the inside will stay, it's uh, it's color actually we'll do the inside because that seems lighter on camera so maybe we can make it look even better so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna get you guys set up so that way I have two hands and then we'll get back all right you guys so I went ahead I wipe, I, I didn't wipe this up I just kind of patted it dry because I thought about it and I was like yeah there's no point in doing that I sprayed a couple sprays in the brush to kind of help it out initially and all you're gonna do is just hit it up Just took a picture with the camera. Right, I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see it. <laughs> Tell me what you think, you guys. Uh-oh, my light's turning off. There we go. Tell me what you think. Am I tripping or that took me like a few minutes, not even a minute. Um, in all honesty, you don't have to go as long as I went. It's this is this is it right here. Okay. I'm I'm gonna finish the rest of the scene a little bit, but I wanted you guys to be able to see what we got going on here, man. Oh my god. This is beautiful, man. One second, I gotta get, I'm gonna take me a little thumbnail picture. A little thumbnail picture with the, see if I can get me a nice little pic pic. Done. You guys, if you watch this video, you just got probably a, a huge tip. Um, you can use this, like I said, on carpet, on your seats, 
Um, now, one thing is, is that if you have real leather, not this this fake shit, if you got the real deal, make sure you use a cleaner that's good on leather. So these seats aren't real leather; they're, they're fake. But I use a uh, interior cleaner. It is diluted, kind of strong. So uh, you want to use if you want to dilute it more, make it a little bit more gentle. This is the way to go, man. I'm telling you guys, man. I will have a link down below in the videos for that. It's freaking awesome. I love it. And I'm, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna finish this up. Well, actually, let's let's spray this side down. See what it looks like with some protection on it, and then I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the seat for you guys. <laughs> and there you go now i know obviously this seat's not perfect i mean you got you know little little rips and stuff in it it's, it's a typical two, you know what 2008 11 12 year old truck 170,000 miles so this is the original seat so it's going to be messed up i need to change the bolsters and uh, get a new bottom for it though i actually plan on doing that but as you guys can see it came out super super good you guys saw the comparison with the line dead in the middle i mean it don't get any easier than that you guys so i really hope you enjoyed this super quick informative video for you guys to be able to kind of put into your toolbox or arsenals if you're not already doing it um please comment down below i would love to hear what type of things you guys do and how you guys go about it because everybody has a different way of uh, skinning the cat you know they say there's like different ways of skinning cat so uh thank you guys so much i really appreciate it um we're gonna be having let's see if you guys are obviously following the channel which i hope you are because if you're not following the channel right now you're gonna be missing out on a lot of stuff um hopefully you're following the channel you saw the post i put up this morning talking about two things Number one, we will be doing a live stream this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Set a reminder in your phone, calendar, whatever. Be there. I would love to interact with all of you guys. We have a good time in the live chat. We had a good one last week. Somebody commented saying, make sure you have the IPAs. Oh, my. One sec. There we go. Somebody commented saying, make sure you got the IPAs. You know I'm going to have the IPAs on standby, so that ain't even a problem. Make sure you've got your IPAs. Um, we're going to have a good time. We'll talk, man. Right? If you got questions you want to ask me, man, diesel, sports, anything. By all means, ask me, man. I'll, I'll be answering them, man. We'll probably be on there for about an hour-ish. Uh, if it goes longer, it goes longer, depending on, you know, if you guys want to stick around for that long. But, uh, yeah, live stream this Friday. Update number two, we will be having, and I'm going to make an official video with all the details and stuff once I get it set. It's probably going to be in January, probably towards the end of January. I'm going to have a video set uh, talking about details for a official first time ever. Everything diesel, truck me. Um, I did polls you guys tore it up. I had on YouTube. I had about a 50 50 poll group So 50 said yeah 50 said no that they could make it um, Over a hundred votes so easily I'm assuming and hoping that 50 of y'all would be definitely able to make it to the show um, It would be entertaining. We would have a good time. Uh, it would be family friendly Wife kids can come husband whoever it may be um, they can come out there check out all the trucks from all of you guys So what it is it be is I'm going way in depth But what it would be is is we will all meet together and look at each other's trucks uh, We will do a raffle. I'm gonna work with some like uh, sponsor companies and seeing about getting sponsored uh, certain things And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna make it fun. So we will definitely have more information about that Thank you guys so much for checking this video out uh, this sucks, man. This is why I don't put videos out in the middle of the week because by the time I get off work, this is what it looks like an hour, not even barely an hour after I get off. So it's kind of hard. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up. Tell me what you think about this trick. Um, man, this seat looks really good. Wow, that looks that looks really good. I like that. Tell me what you guys think about this video. If you really enjoyed it, please, like I said just a minute ago, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about it. Is it a cool deal? Is it a cool trick? Links will be down below for it, for the tool attachments to any any drill, cordless, corded, whatever. Um, it'll, I will have links for it. So go ahead. I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, take some cards, just like pull it up, whatever. Take it easy. Be safe. Peace out.